Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Hannah, and today we're going to make egg shakers. Um, so, what I have is some plastic leftover Easter eggs from the Easter celebration over the weekend, and I have some split dried peas. I have some dried northern white beans. I'm making a mess here. And I have some rice. I know my lighting is horrible in here, so it's hard to see the rice. So I am going to we're gonna work on our math skills by using two different size measuring units. We're going to use the tablespoon and we're going to use a quarter cup. So for this activity, I'm actually going to use the clear Easter eggs that I have because I want you all to see the insides and see how much is in there. So first we're going to use our tablespoon. I'm going to scoop it up and I'll put one tablespoon of the split dried peas in this container and I'm gonna close the lid and then I'm gonna measure again with the tablespoon one measure of dried northern beans into this egg and close it up and then we're going to measure the same measuring unit the tablespoon we're going to take one tablespoon of rice and we're going to put it into this container and close it up. Now, let's give a listen if we give it a shake. Kind of reminds me of a baby rattle. What do you think? Then there's this one. Do you think it sounds different or the same? Here's the rice. Does it sound the same as the other three? You're right, I think they all sound different. So we're going to put these aside and now we're going to use our quarter cup measurement and we're going to put a quarter cup, we're going to measure you might have to help in one quarter cup do you see in there it's it's nice and full of peas into our egg it almost fills up the whole half of the egg and we're gonna close it up and then we're gonna take another egg and we're gonna measure up a whole quarter cup You see that it's nice and full. And we're going to put that in there. And you see the tablespoon is much less than a quarter cup. And now for the last, we have our. quarter cup of rice. You see my rice in there? I'm going to pour that into there and then we're going to put the lid on. Oh no, I lost some rice. Let's see if we can get this on without losing any more rice. There we go. Alright, now which one do you want to shake first? Let's shake. Let's shake the rice. This one has the tablespoon, and this one has the quarter cup. Let's listen. Do they sound the same or different? You're right, I think they sound different too. 
Now let's listen to the big beans. How do you think these sound? Do they sound the same or different? You're right, they sound about the same. And let's listen to our split peas to see if they sound the same or different. They sound a little bit different, but do they sound the same as the rice? Are you ready? The rice sounds different than the peas. What about the beans? Do they sound different from the beans? Now, if you want to be able to keep these and use these when you listen to music, you could take some tape and wrap it around the edge to seal it nice and tight. And that way, they won't come apart when you're shaking them to go with your music. You've made your own little handheld maraca. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon.